This one's gonna be uh, compiling from source uh, attempt two here. Definitely go watch the first video, and then you can understand this one a little bit better. Uh, I'm gonna use the same file so you don't get confused or anything, but um, it's only a little bit different from the first one. I actually recommend this way better than the first video, so just follow along here. So we have our um, tarball here, okay, and we're gonna extract it. Extract here, and we have our folder there. Now bust out a terminal and type in cd space and the easiest way to do this is just drag the folder in here push enter now you're in the folder and we're gonna do the dot slash config thing right configure and now when you run this it shouldn't give me any errors that I already fixed the first video so it should go smoothly and it does uh, the next step is to type in make All right, you can also type in make and push enter that we did in the first video but um, there is also an option to do uh, dash j and you give it like a number of threads here so 9 was too much for my computer but 5 should be okay and what this does is actually um, let's see what this said like it makes like multiple threads so if you have like um, a decent computer or maybe a fast computer with a lot of cores or something, it will actually utilize those and um, I guess it compiles it faster. Uh, so there you go. Otherwise, uh, just use make, you know. But uh, the goal of this was actually just to compile it faster. That was it. If you have a decent computer or a high-end computer, then uh, definitely use that to your advantage, you know. Anyways, uh, the next step is um, we're not going to use the sudo make install because that one, um, you know, it doesn't really show our package in our, you know, synaptic package manager, which is what I want them to do. So usually they'll tell you to do sudo make install like this, All right? If they ever tell you to do this, uh, skip that part, okay? And just do uh, check install. We're gonna do check install. So that's the only difference between this one and the first video. Uh, pro tip by YouTuber Commodore. There you go. So sudo check install. Okay, and this one will actually make a uh, dev file for you. Okay. So what is it asking here? You want documentations? Read me files. I'm gonna put no because I don't want any doc files. I don't read those shit. And here to tell you to uh, if you want to type a description, so I'm gonna say oh, I want to type one. So go ahead, emulators and ROMs manager. Okay, by me, bitch. And just push enter, and they also have an empty line, so you push enter again, and you should have this. What is this? Oh, this is a summary of um, what they're gonna use or what they're gonna say, or whatever. Just push enter, and they do the matrix. And what is this one? You probably don't want them to be including the package, especially if they're outside your home directory. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the recommended is no. I'm not even sure what the hell they just asked me, but no. And yes. And uh, oh yeah, there you go. What it just did was actually uh, installs it for you, and it also makes a dev file. So let me show you here. So if I actually open my Synaptic Package Manager, and GUI, there you go, GUI. Uh, see, it actually installs it for you, and it actually shows up uh, instead of not showing up like last time. Okay. So that's the difference between the check install and uh, the make install. This one actually shows up in your Synaptic Package Manager. And look at our description that we just wrote. All here, all good. Another difference is, um, what the hell is that? That's not it, okay. You know our folder that we just uh, extracted earlier? It'll actually um, create a dev file for you in here, see? And um, I believe you can send this to your friend, and then you know they can install it also. They don't have to compile it; they just use this file, and all they do is double click on it, and then, you know hit install or whatever, like you do. Uh, so let's let's see our program if it actually um, works. Okay, here you go, 
games, Goliath. Actually, has the icon now too. That's cool. And there you go. This is a program. You know, all good. Uh, so that's it. That's all. That's how you compile it. That's the only difference. Okay, so check install is what I recommend because um, that's what I think everyone would want to use. That's it for this one.